All right, hello again, boys and girls. Today we're doing 16-2, which is finding the perimeter of common shapes. So one of the things that we need to um, learn about today is a new kind of shape, which you're going to have a lot of familiarity with once you get into fourth grade and you learn more about the different types of triangles for geometry. But for third grade, we're still looking at just this triangle for now. So this is called an equilateral triangle. Can you look at this word equilateral? Do you hear any words that you know already? If you're thinking of this part in the middle, which is not quite spelled the way we usually see it, but it kind of sounds like that word equal, right? So an equilateral triangle is a kind of triangle that has three sides that are all the same length. So here's an example of an equilateral triangle. Every single one of the three sides are all four inches long. So to find the perimeter of this shape, I would just have to add all the side lengths. I would do four plus four plus four, which would be 12. Or if they're all the same, I could use multiplication and I could do three times four or four times three because I'm doing four three times. It would also give me 12. So the perimeter of this equilateral triangle is 12 inches, okay? So we're gonna be looking a little bit of how we can use multiplication sometimes in this video lesson, which we talked about in the introductory lesson. So first let's look at guided practice. And question number one says, how can you use multiplication and addition to find the perimeter of a rectangle with a length of six feet and a width of four feet? So I know the length and I know the width and I know I'm finding the perimeter, which remember perimeter is ch 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 around area, area, perimeter. Don't look at my nails, they still look bad. <laughs> so when we're finding the perimeter, we're adding all the side lengths together. And we know that opposite sides or parallel sides are equal in a rectangle. So let's go ahead and kind of like draw it out a little bit. I'm just kind of sketching it off to the side. I know it's four feet by six feet. So it's kind of like this. 65, four feet over here. So how can I use multiplication and addition together? So remember, opposite sides are equal. So if the bottom is six feet, how long is the top? Six feet. If the right is four feet, how big is the left? You're right, also four feet. So a way that we could use multiplication and addition together to find this, if you don't wanna do six plus six plus four plus four, Remember, if I'm adding six plus six, that's the same as doing six times two. If I'm adding four plus four, that's the same as four times two because I'm doing it twice, okay? Any number plus itself is the same thing as multiplying by two. So you can do length times two plus width times two, or you can do length times two and width times two and add those products together. So watch me, I could do six times two equals 12. And then for the next one, so that was the top and the bottom because six plus six or six times two is 12. And then when I do the side lengths, I like to do that equation right underneath, four times two equals eight. So now I have this one and this one and this one and this one and to find all of it together, I would just have to add these two products together. So that's why I like to stack them on top of each other because then it sets it up so nice for me to just stack and add the way that I like. So eight plus two is 10, bring my zero down, carry my one. What is the perimeter of this shape? It is 20. And then do you remember where I can look to find the label? 20, I'm looking right back in here, feet. Perimeter equals 20 feet. So that's how you can do use multiplication and addition to find what it is. Okay, <clears throat> number two says, explain how you can find the perimeter of a square with a side length of seven centimeters. So we already looked at squares. And I always like to draw a picture because it just helps me visualize, even though my square is a little wonky over here, that's okay. So remember, the side lengths of squares are always, always, always the same. So if I know that this side is seven centimeters, what are all of the sides? Seven centimeters. So if I know that each side is seven centimeters, 
and there are four sides in a square, what can I do? I could add seven plus seven plus seven plus seven, or what multiplication would that be? Yes, that would be seven times four. You could sing your seven songs if you remember it from class. Seven, 14, 21, 28. 28, so that means the perimeter of that square would be 28 centimeters, okay? You go ahead and try to do this one if you want to. So I'm gonna do the lengths. I'm gonna do eight times two, and then the top and the bottom, which would be four times two. Eight times two is 16. Four times two is eight. Okay, eight plus six is 14 carry that 24 that means this perimeter of this shape is 24 where do I get my label in the picture feet okay this one is a square so that means they are all five so five times one two three four equals 20 where do I get my label the picture 20 centimeters p equals 20 centimeters okay if you feel comfortable now go ahead and try to do five six and seven okay so six inches for this square so that means six 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 which means six plus six plus six plus six or six times four six twelve eighteen twenty four twenty p equals twenty four inches Yes. Rectangle, let's do top and bottom first. So that'd be 12 times two equals, side to side would be six times two. 12 times two is 24. Six times two is 12. Stack and add it, baby. Six. The perimeter of this one is 36 centimeters. And you guys, if you don't like doing multiplication and addition, just add all the sides. It's okay. You're going to get the same answer. Trust me. All right, an equal lateral triangle. So if one side is six yards, the other sides are also six yards. I have six three times, so I could do six plus six plus six, or I could do six times three, six, 12, 18. Whoa. So the perimeter equals 18 yards. Okay, very nice job. Okay, so let's go to the back. Go ahead and read through the word problems, pause the video, try your best. Remember, when you're looking in, you get your labels, it tells you. Remember the difference between perimeter and area. Okay, so pause the video, try your best and press play when you're ready to check it. For number 13, if you got 24 feet, you are correct. For number 14, if you got 15 inches, you are correct. All right, nice job, friends. That was it for this week, 16-1 and 16-2, perimeter. Good job.